Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here, and welcome to another video. As you can see, this video has to do with trail cameras. So over this past few months, I've acquired three different trail cameras. The Guard Pro A3, which my mother got for me for Christmas, which she got on Amazon for a little under $100. The Bushnell um, Prime L20 Combo No Glow. This, uh, this one I bought at Walmart for about $70, $75. And then finally got this little stealth cam, which my buddy Jake gave for me gave to me for free because I helped them out with the deer so I got three different trail cameras and I think the purpose of this video that I'm gonna be making is to do somewhat of a review but instead of going into the details of all the specs and showing y'all how to set up the menus and everything I'm briefly gonna go over that but I'm mainly gonna test the quality and content of each of these cameras I'm gonna set them up outside Try them in picture mode, try them in video mode, see which one's best for video, which one's best for picture, which one I may plan on using for hunting videos or uh, different areas in the woods when I'm scouting during the off season. But here at the Southern Woods, we want actual content quality. How good are the pictures and videos? Do I want to use this? And, um, you know, I'll give my opinions about each of them and we'll go on from there. Uh, I tried the stealth cam or I'm a little bit more familiar with it right now. Uh, this is the one I went through first. I don't have a manual for it, um, but I can briefly go over it. I think this is the Stealth Cam Q something 20. I don't know, it has a weird name. You open it with this latch right here. Uh, very simple, seems somewhat secure, waterproof, and it opens up the bottom like so. Uh, you open up the batteries and put the batteries in through this little switch right here. You switch it and it pops out. It takes eight AA batteries, pretty simple to put in. It takes a SD card right here above the battery case. Um, again, simple to put in. It has a very um, basic menu. Basically, you slide this switch all the way down to custom and you hold down menu and then you can easily go through it and go through the settings. It also has three different presets, uh, which is cool. One is uh, the first preset is three photo bursts every 30 seconds. The second preset is one photo every 30 seconds. And the third one's a video preset. It's like a maybe 10, 15 second clip every 20, 30 seconds, I believe. Um, seems fairly simple to use. Off camera, I went and fiddled around with the Bushnell and the Guard Pro. So I'm gonna go briefly into detail about each one in the menu setup like I did with the uh, Stealth Cam. So, First, we'll start with the Bushnell uh, Prime L20 combo. You open it up via this latch, far less secure feeling than the Stealth Cam. Very easy, not a lot of compression, which makes me fear it's a waterproof capabilities, but it opens up like this. Now, review wise, there are some mixed reviews, but not a lot of reasonings why people didn't like it or really liked it. So I don't have a lot of bases off of it, but um, you eject the batteries with this eject button and it's gonna pop the battery tray right here out. And you sort of have to force it out a little bit. Um, you're gonna have to tug on it a bit. So don't worry, you're not gonna break it. Although, you know, it's more force than you would want to take it out. Uh, but that's how you, uh, do the batteries, it takes six double A's instead of eight. The SD card goes in right here on the side. Now, when it comes to the menu, uh, pretty straightforward. There's off, aim, and on. To set it up, you're gonna wanna go on aim. And then literally set up, you just press okay. And then up and down to change the time, uh, duration, everything. Every time you're done setting something, you click okay to enter it. Click OK again, it moves on to the next uh, menu setting. So very, very easy to set up. 
Uh, I'd say even easier than the Stealth Cam, in my opinion. Uh, but my problems with the Bushnell are this, at least exterior wise, it feels almost cheap. Like it feels kind of light plasticky as again, as I said, this um, clip to secure it does not feel that strong. Uh, spec wise, what I don't like about it is duration between uh, photos or videos. Uh, there's no in between for 15 seconds and 30 seconds, either 15 or 30 or less than 15 or more than 30. Uh, I like to do 20 or 25 seconds because sometimes I feel like 15 seconds is too short. Sometimes I feel like 30 seconds is too long, but there's no in between for the, um, the separated duration of each photo or video. And my only other critique about, uh, the bush now is that there's only one set video duration, 10 second videos. No more, no less. That's the only option, uh, which is okay because 10 seconds I feel is the standard. But sometimes people like 30 seconds to get a longer duration of what they're looking at. Um, so if you want more variety in your video length, this may not be the one for you. Now, I'm going to set the Bushnell to the side and look at the Guard Pro A3 or whatever it is. This one I'm actually excited about. Again, this one is probably slightly the most expensive on um, God on Amazon. Its major critiques were the waterproof. Everyone who gave it really bad reviews said water got in it, messed it up. Um, but when you look at the claps to open it on the side, not the most secure sounding or feeling, but definitely more secure than the Bushnell. Um, what's special about this one Exterior wise, it has two side motion sensors right here. Uh, so that allows for a better prep when something's coming in the area to get a better photo, better video, uh, just for a better performance. But apparently it does drain the batteries quite a bit more, but we're gonna open it up via the side latches. Again, not the most secure feeling, but more secure feeling than the Bushnell. Not as much as the Stealth Cam, so probably in between on the latches. Now you open it up and it's uh, this sort of setup. So unlike the other two where it's just on the bottom, this whole thing opens, which is what I'm more familiar with. Uh, you insert the batteries via this uh, battery compartment, huge battery compartment, takes eight double A's. Uh, fairly simple to put in them. And then you have this menu set up. Uh, there's off, on, and set. Set is all the way to the right. Now, it, although it's not as simple, as the other ones menu wise, it's almost the most easily navigate, navigationable. Uh, as you see, there's a display screen. Uh, this one, you can actually look back on your videos and pictures via this display screen. So you don't have to use an SD card reader or go to um, you know get the SD card out. You could just straight up look via the trail camera, which is pretty cool. But there's a menu button and it has all the menu settings easily visible going down the line super easy to use super easy to read i like visibly having a nice screen to look at the menu definitely say the guard pro and the bush now have the easiest menu set up um but this one's exciting it tell oh that was the other thing i forgot to mention the bush now from what i can see has no battery life icon which can be frustrating this one does the stealth cam does but i did not see one on the bush now um, so that can be concerning if, if you don't know how, uh, how much more battery there is. These are the three, as I said, the Guard Pro A3, the Bushnell, uh, Prime L20 combo, and then the Stealth Cam. Now that we've gone over a brief synopsis of, uh, the details of them, the menu, now we're going to actually put them out on the property, um, over the next couple days and see how they do. I'm gonna start the first day with camera or photo mode. Hopefully we'll get photos day and nighttime. And then the following day I'll do video mode. Hopefully it's the same so we can determine which is the best quality video and picture. Time to compare all three um, and see which one's ultimately the best. Now this first picture, we're doing the daytime photos. This is the stealth cam during the day. Um, and as you can see, not the best position. Um, but the quality of the picture, regardless, isn't the best. 
but we're gonna go to the Bushnell. Um, these are my dogs on the Bushnell camera. It just, it seems a little bit more clear, a little bit more crisp, a little better quality overall. And then this is the Guard Pro. Um, a better view altogether based on the positioning of it. But this one's probably the clearest, um, best colors, uh, less grainy. Um, so for the daytime photos, I'm gonna have to give it to the Guard Pro, followed by the Bushnell, then the Stealth Cam. All right, y'all, now we're doing the nighttime photos with these trail cameras, starting with the Stealth Cam again. Uh, as you can see, uh, it sees pretty far in the dark on photo mode. Things are fairly clear, considering. Better than the daytime photos, in my opinions, that I saw. The Bushnell, it's probably because it's closer to the house and had a lot less further to see, but things look a lot more clear, a lot more crisp and lit up on the Bushnell at night. And then the Guard Pro, in my opinion, looks the worst. Sorry, I know y'all can see me, hello. Um, it doesn't see quite as far as the uh, stealth cam and it's just a little bit darker a little bit more fuzzy but as you can see there is a bunny right here in my opinion all three of them uh, stacked fairly well at night probably with guard pro being slightly the worst uh, bushnell and stealth cam are probably on par all right now we're going to check out the videos starting with the daytime videos as always starting with the stealth cam hello y'all as you can see me galloping during the day towards the house. Not bad, uh, not the best quality, but things are lit up, decent color, uh, decent motion, no, no big lag. Uh, but there's also one more in the evening of one of my dogs. As you, as you can see, not the best quality, but definitely decent. I think uh, you'll definitely be able to tell between animals, maybe not as far, but close up for sure. Um, now let's check out the Bushnell during the day. Only had one video capturing me, which was dancing. Um, as you can see, I got the moves. I'm busting down. Uh, but again, uh, decent colors, maybe a little less quality than the stealth cam video wise, just based on everything. But it could be just the sun's positioning based on where the camera is as well but not too bad. And then finally, for the last video during the day, we'll check out the, uh, the Guard Pro. The Guard Pro is the only one with sound, as you can see. Um, to me, the video during the day just seems a little bit more grainy with the Guard Pro. Colors are a little bit more distorted. Um, there's one during the evening, let me pull that up. Um, when the sun's going down, a little bit better in my opinion. Um, as you can see, there's a squirrel over here, but I don't know. I just, the video on this one isn't the best in my opinion during the day. For me, it probably goes the stealth cam followed by this one, then maybe the Bushnell, but they're all fairly similar. Maybe stealth cam being the best, but y'all are watching. Y'all can decide for yourself. All right. And for our final test, the nighttime videos. And these are usually the most interesting to me when I'm looking at a trail camera. So let's see for ourselves. Starting with the stealth cam. Uh, as you can see my dog right there, she is staring at something, probably horrified. The stealth cam does not reach super far with the nighttime video, not as much as the photo mode. Again, you can see me walking out. I mean, probably only, you know, 25 yards or so maybe and I get a little dark and I don't know everything's not as lit up the further you go um, Wasn't too impressed with the nighttime video now the bush now Again, maybe the position but everything's a lot more lit up clearly the uh, the guard pro Everything seems a lot more lit up with the guard pro at night the video, just everything seems more clear, uh, concise. Go to the next video at night. Um, you can see further. Just everything's a lot better in video mode, um, nighttime wise. With the Guard Pro, 
So when it comes to that, I'd say Guard Pro is probably first, followed by Bushnell with Stealth Cam being um, the worst at nighttime videos. All right, y'all. So what do we conclude with the trail cameras? I mean, they're all fairly similar, more similar price. They're all between 70 to a hundred ish dollars. Um, and they're all good for different things. The Guard Pro did impress me the most. If you're looking for something with uh, sound compared to those three, I think it was the only one with video sound. Um, you had the most range to change the menu options. Like you had the most control over a bunch of different things, duration, time, uh, quality, like uh, everything. So if you're looking for more control, a little bit better quality overall, in my opinion, definitely go with the Guard Pro. Um, the Bushnell and Stealth Cam 2, uh, they're all right. Uh, I'm gonna keep on using them. The Stealth Cam has different presets, which is nice. The Bushnell is a more, you know, older, trusted brand. And, you know, just overall, I'm gonna see how, uh, how they perform over the next years. Whenever one breaks, I'll let y'all know because I all got them around the same time. They're all similar age, so, um, and I'll be using them all the same, same terrain, same weather. So uh, one day you'll figure out which has the best um, lifespan, I suppose. But anyways, I mean, they're all decent in their own right. They all have things good about them, things not as great about them. Hopefully this video helped y'all decide maybe what brand or what model you want to choose uh, if you're looking for a uh, trail camera around the 70 to $100 range if that's your budget. Um, as of which one I'm going to use for my hunting videos, I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, but when that day comes, I'll let y'all know. Anyways, hope this video was helpful somewhat informational and southern woods out.